Okay, let's take a look at the new DD body method within the test response within Laravel tests. Now, this doesn't matter whether you're using PHP unit or PEST to test this. This comes back from the test response class, which we will dive into very, very shortly when we make some sort of HTTP request within our tests. So you can see at the moment, I've got a very, very basic test that hits the slash user endpoint. And we're just using an assert, assert status to make sure that this request is successful. If we take a look at this, I've just created a really basic root tier inline no controller that returns some JSON. This does work with HTML pages as well. So you can go ahead and use this method to inspect HTML. Let's just take a look at what this does though. And it's easier to demo this with JSON. Okay, so let's say we are building out a test and I want to see what the response looks like. Perhaps I'm trying to debug what a certain parameter or a certain condition has changed within the response. How do we do this? Well, we would probably start to reach for a die dump on the response object itself. Let's go ahead and run that test. And you can see, sure enough, we do get a bunch of stuff uh, dumped out. And we can sort of see this data somewhere in here. But where is this coming from? Well, it's coming from, if we just head up here, this base response. So what we would actually have to do is go into this base response. And again, let's just go ahead and run that test. And yeah, this is a little bit more useful. We can see this data. If we wanted to do something with the data, though, we could say something like get content. I think it is. Let's just go ahead and run that. And yeah, there we go. So we kind of get this out, but there must be an easier way. And there is a much easier way now that we have the DD body method. So if you're unaware throughout or sort of scattered throughout the Laravel framework within things like collections, this test response, we have the ability to just die dump. So if you're doing something like a multi-line request here with a couple of other methods, and at some point you just want to dump the status of what's going on, you can just reach for the die dump, die dump method or DD method. And this is pretty much the same for collections as well. And it exists in a couple of other places within the Laravel framework. So you can see here that although we get the same result, we've just had to chain on a DD method and that's going to die dump this object at that point. Now, why is this useful? Well, what we now have is DD body. What this is going to do is it's going to take the body that we just saw and it's going to dump it out for us at the point that we call this method. Much easier than coming down, dying and dumping manually on the response and trying to extract the data you need. Let's check this out, run the test, and there we go. And plus, this is now an actual array. So what I'm going to do now is just go into that test response just to have a look at this DD body method and actually show you what it's doing. So it's using this content, which to be fair, we could have used before. So we could have used that handy method before to die dump this out. So I did make it look a little bit more difficult than it is, but this method is still super handy. Now, if we take a look at this method signature, we can also pass in a key here. And what does that mean? Well, you can see here that if we have this JSON validate function, uh, available. And this goes ahead and allows us to uh, detect whether this content is actually JSON. So we validate this as real JSON. Then we use the JSON key. So obviously, this is useful for when you're building out an API and you want to extract a single value from this. So I want to dump just on the name here. Let's run this. And there we go. Now, if our controller or our response here was returning a view instead, that wouldn't work. So you don't need to worry about this just erroring. It's just going to dump out the entire body here of the HTML page, which again is still useful. So you can use DD body to do exactly that. Okay, so now that we've looked at DD body and name, we also have a few other things. Now, these aren't new additions, but I thought I'd mention them since we're in the position of talking about DD body. And we have things like DD headers. So we can go ahead and dump out the headers of the response that we get as we're doing this. And there's a bunch of other uh, ones of these. Of course, it's a good idea to just go over to your test response, either look from them in here, which they are in here. So we've got DD session, in which case you can provide some keys. 
DD JSON, which is used behind the scenes from that DD body when we provide a key, DD headers, which we've just looked at, and DD body, which is new. These three here existed before, as well as just DD on its own, but DD body has recently been added. And I think this is really helpful. The amount of times that I go in and I try to go ahead and dump something out within my response, it just saves time for having to do this, type out the response, type out the content, and then going ahead and running it. The other way this is useful is that sometimes within our tests, let's just get rid of what we're doing here. I'm going to get rid of DD body here as well. Sometimes in our test, we are not assigning a response. So we're doing something like this, this get user assert status 200. That's the way that I would write the test. So if we go ahead and run this, sure enough, it passes. But this is where at this point, if I want to go ahead and dump out what's coming back from here so I can create some assertions, that's where this method comes in handy. So if you didn't think it was useful before, let me demo this for you now. So if we're writing tests like this, and I want to dump out the result of what uh, happens here, instead of having to then go ahead and reassign this a value, end this, go ahead and either comment this out or we'll switch this back to content, then go ahead and say die dump content. And we should have called that response, but let's just call this content content for now. You kind of get the idea. And seeing this, now let's go back to how we kind of want to write our test, which is the shortest way possible. I can now just chain on anywhere. It doesn't matter if it's, uh, if we have methods in between this, DD body. And there we go. So it's just, a lot more convenient. That's the whole point of these DD type methods that we can sort of inject into the lines of our code and uh, it just makes development a lot quicker. So there we go. I know I've explained a lot here, but it's really, really helpful to have these in your toolkit for when you're debugging during your tests.